Hello everyone, this is your boy Tim aka Fantastic and welcome to God is Good Podcast. Now I know that it have been a minute, it's been about two weeks, <laughs> it's been about two weeks since I um actually uploaded a video and the reason why is I just, one, I've been getting distracted and um, two, I just I don't know. Whenever I get distracted and I feel like, I guess you could say, because like I said, we keep it real on here. I feel like I was backsliding a little bit. And in that part I, of my of that season, I feel like I really couldn't uh, share anything. You know, I feel like if you're in the midst of that, like going out there and sharing the word, it's not the time. It's the time to like really like try to pull, bring yourself back into the word and focus on him and then start back sharing because you don't want to mislead anyone and today was very great this sunday we actually got to see my boy rashan preach for the first time in his first congregation that they moved and extended out uh they just extended the branch out into our area uh close to Athens, georgia and man it just it was an awesome word and what I found is, you know, I, I was trying to figure out what I was going to talk about in this podcast. I was trying to figure out what topic will I talk about today? And it's crazy how it all fell because, like, one topic that I had on my mind, like, I was really focused on this topic, right? And just by the word that he shared today was the exact same words that I've heard three times already. Um, what was crazy. So I'm gonna go in the background like of the story, like go back a little bit how this happened. So um the first time that we went to my mom's church of this year, we I already been, but it was like the first time that me and my wife went. I think was it my wife is right here. Was it the first time? So the first time that we went, the lesson was the same lesson that was taught this Sunday. Okay. After that after that that's that Sunday that we had went to my mom's church or whatever, when we first went to Rashandum church, the one the uh, the main congregation, I guess you would say, <laughs> the first time we went, this lesson was taught. And now when once he got ordained and extended the congregation out in a different area, his very first lesson he taught is the same as that lesson. And at first I was like, bro, like, how, how do this, like, what can I take from it? You know, like, I understood it, but I, I, I really, and then I was like, boom. And it was talking about the, in Luke 14, 15, it talk about the parable of the great feast. And this talks about the people that gave the invitation and stuff. And the people that got the invitation were distracted basically they was focused on things of the world and, and they turned down this feast and at the end the master was upset but the people that got invited was the people that was crippling like the ordinary people and they then they came so basically in this uh lesson is teaching about the word like you know that god inviting us that god is inviting us to his feast to heaven to this party in heaven. And there's going to be people that's going to turn it down because they are distracted of the world. And man, I was just like, wow. 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 I have been so distracted. So um, let's just go into the word, man. Let's just go into the word. And then we're just going to go in a little bit deeper. Okay. So let me switch over. I would, I think it's my live scene. All right, live scene. So we are in Luke 14, 15. Uh, I'm going to give y'all time to go to that if y'all want to, or we can go right here. So I'm going to give y'all a little time to go there in your Bibles if you need your Bible. And I am reading from the NLT. Um... Oh, man, I can't even get it out right now. I'm trying to wake up. Translation. Thank you, babe. <laughs> Translation. Um, 
I'm drinking coffee, just trying to wake up. I feel like I'm like in my little Nick Jones part, like when I'm trying to wake up, I'm just kind of like babbling and don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so when the NLT version of Luke 14, 15, the parable of the great feast, and we're going to start off on 15 and say, hearing this, a man sitting at the table with Jesus exclaimed, what a blessing it will be to attend a banquet in the kingdom of God. So it's all about this banquet in the kingdom of God. And I love the NLT version because it is straight up tell you. Jesus replied to this story. Now he's given a parable. Talk about this banquet at the kingdom of God and the people that are getting invited and how some people are going to receive it. A man prepared a great feast and sent out many invitations. So he said, a man prepared a great feast. God cre God prepared a great feast and he is sending out many invitations. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servants to tell the guests to come to the come to the banquet. Wait, come. The banquet is ready. So he sent his servant, which is Jesus, to tell people, hey, come, come to me. The banquet is ready. Like. Heaven is ready. Come receive my word. Right. But they all began making excuses. One said, I just bought a field and must inspect it. Please excuse me. Man, don't that sound familiar? Don't want you to know when people like try to invite us to listen to God's word. We'd be like, oh, man, I, I just bought this new car, bro. Like, I, I got to go. Like, I got to, you know, I got to do this to my car or whatever. Or, oh, I just... I just got this this new gaming system, man. Look, we'll talk about that later, bro. Like, I got things to do. Don't that sound familiar? I mean, I know it sounds familiar to me because there's time when I want, you know, someone wants me or God want me to spend my time with him. And I'm like, oh, man, you know, I, I got this this Fortnite game to play. Y'all know I play Fortnite. Y'all seen the videos in my old video session. Come on now. So it's a another said i just bought five pairs of oxen and i want to try them out <laughs> that sounds familiar please excuse me another said i just got married so i can't come look we know marriage is a blessing and and stuff but come on he's basically saying look your wife yes love her but love me first the servant returned and told his master what they said his master was furious and said Go quickly into the streets and the alleys of the town and invite the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. Now, when I seen the word the lame, I was like, wow. <laughs> They've been using lame for a long time. <laughs> so, I, you know, and I, I think, yeah, yeah, I, I think lame in, in the Bible is the, the same. I, I really want to uh, study on that. I think the lame is because the crippled... I used to thought that the cripple and the lame was the same, but I think the lame, like the the person, like like not the the cool one. So yeah, after the servant had done this, he reported, "There is still room for more." Wow, there's still room for more, y'all. Ooh, hold on, I don't know what my mouse just did. Whoa, my mouse just did a whole crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, there's still room for more. So his master said, go out into the country lane and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come. So the house will be full for none of those I first invited will get even the smallest taste of my banquet that's that's let's read it again for none of those i first invited will even get the smallest taste of my banquet so we 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 need to think about it for a minute you know we even we christians get distracted so even you know there's people out there who haven't even Ask Jesus to be their Lord and Savior yet. There's people who actually don't even follow Jesus yet. Because they are distracted 
by all the things. They are distracted, distracted from other false religions. They are distracted from idols. They are distracted from um, lust. They are distracted from social media. They are distracted from a lot of things. And guess what? I understand because one, I was once there and two, as a Christian, I still deal with those some of those distractions. I still deal with the social media distraction. I, I'm as a man of God, there's a distraction of the lust sometimes that comes in. Like I said, we get real on this channel. We're not. Well, I am not holier than thou. I'm just a believer that believe in Jesus Christ. I I take Jesus as my Lord and Savior, but I understand that I am a sinner, and I understand that there are some things that I am going to go through trial and tribulations. I know that I have growth to make. I know that I have to really, my old man spirit is going to keep coming back trying to attack. Because my old man spirit want to be entertained by the world, y'all. My old man spirit want to be entertained. My flesh want to be entertained. My flesh desire everything that is not of God. And that's why we can't be getting distracted. That's why we can't be getting distracted. For instance, I'm going to show y'all an example of how easy distraction can work. So I can be on YouTube right now trying to look for Christian content. And I may see this because I like Fortnite. I may see this and be like, what? What is this? Somebody fighting? Like what? You know, I don't even know what this is. Lord, I don't even know how they even came up. <laughs> I could be going on YouTube right now trying to find Christian content and easily get, I love Georgia Bulldogs. I can get distracted off of that. I can get distracted off Fortnite videos. You know, I can get, look at, if I am not being careful, it, as, as someone, for instance, that's trying to find, seek Jesus, and they get distracted easily, I'm going to tell you how, <laughs> let me show, show you how the devil works. As, say if I was someone who's trying to learn more about Jesus, right? And I haven't really fully committed my life to Jesus, but I'm trying to find content. Look, look what the devil throw out there. Boom. Something about another religion, Eva. Now, I can go on a whole tangent about that. And there, that, that was actually, <laughs> it's, thank you, Holy Spirit. That was something that I was about to actually talk about. For the topic today is debunking the Ephi and letting y'all know the real thing about Ephi. There's so much stuff that people don't know. A lot of people don't know how the devil perverts God's, the good thing of the Lord, and turn it for some other religion. You know, the distractions are there. All this stuff, all this, this social media stuff. The distraction is there, y'all. You see how much, how much Christian content we see right here, right now. On, I am literally on my home page. Let's see how much distraction. Okay, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My short is full of it. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Y'all see that? That's full of distractions. Full of distractions and only a few Christian content. And I watch Christian content on YouTube. My y'all. The I did explain I got distracted a few weeks ago. So just by me clicking on a simple Fortnite video, boom. Just like that. Just like that. Instantly. That stuff is it it, it like it takes over my Christian content. They don't even have many of that anymore. They're, they're fighting. I, police insider. I think I had watched a YouTube video of some pedophile getting locked up or something. Boom. You see that? Like, just, 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 just stuff popping up. The EFA thing popped up because I was watching some debunking EFA. But then, lo and behold, guess what the devil do? He's like, mm, try throwing a jab in there. Trying to get me to watch. Why you should join EFA? Like, what? But as a Christian, I have discernment and I understand that. I understand that the devil is a distractor. You know? And um 
my wife is here. Babe, do you have anything you want to share about distraction? How, how, how have you have been getting distracted lately? Like, what are some things that distract you? And hopefully she, y'all can hear her through my mic. Should be, it's pretty loud. Um, it's, it's definitely social media. It's, <laughs> it's very much up there. Because that's, I feel like that's the point of social media. Mm-hmm. Like it's to distract us, and I'm still working on it. Like God's working on me <laughs> on that because I did delete, I did delete social media, and then I, I added and back, then loaded it back, <laughs> and I'm back to it. Yep. But it's not even that I want to be distracted. It's just more accessible. Mm. Mm. Like, it's very... Like, distraction is very accessible. Set so the click of your fingers. Like, that and also, um, like, phones in general. Like, tracks. Even, even if you haven't said it. Even you're, when you're just thinking stuff. It'll pop up on your For You page or something. Yep. And that's... That's scary. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, definitely social media. And... Not getting in the word. Mm. Like... Not... Reading the Bible and studying. And meditating on scriptures that will help me from getting distracted. I feel like that's another thing too. Mm. Like I feel like that is something I'm trying to practice. Like finding a scripture about distraction. And reading that and meditating on that scripture so that I don't get distracted. Mm Mm-hmm. Hey, that's good. That's good. And I think, you know, a big part of not being distracted. Because, you know, we're going to find ourselves getting distracted. Just that's the bottom line. We're going to get distracted a little bit. But how long are you going to let that distraction last? Because that distraction could be easily, oh, I'm about to watch something. You turn and you'd be like, oh, wait, no. I need, because I, that's what I'm about to do today. I'm about to get on a game. And then I ended up talking to my boy, Rashawn, and we talked for about an hour or so about, you know, the next move for the congregation and stuff. And I was like, yeah, like even with us on the phone, like it's great conversation. We're talking about God. But I still had I I still had work to do for the Lord, so I had to tell him like, "Yo, bro, I I got to put out this content. I got to share the word with people." And even that's a good distraction that I had, but I still had work to do for the Lord. And so I didn't even plan on reading this, but it was yellow highlighted from my la- last time I like read it, and I felt like the need to read this out. And it say a lot, and it say the cause of being a disciple, as you know, discipline is in the word disciple, pretty much. Um, and it say a large crowd was following Jesus. He turned and said to them, "Now, when I read this, I'm gonna break this down to y'all because y'all y'all gotta understand, okay? Because people when they read the Bible, they're like, "What, Lord? What? 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 Why he? Why he said hate?" My mom, he want me to hate my mom, my children, my wife. What, like, God, what is, how is that love? Come on now. Let me, let me, I'm going to break this down to y'all. He turned around and said to him, if you want to be my disciple, you must, by comparison, that's the key word, by comparison, hate everyone else, your father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sister. Yes, even your own life. He is not telling you to hate. Literally, like, I hate. 
them. I hate myself. No, he say by comparison. By comparison to how much you love him and how much you love them, it must seem like it. Like by comparison, it's like you hate them. That means he wants you to give all your love to him. You must give your love to him. Not even love your own life that much. By comparison, he's not saying don't love your mom, don't love your father, don't love your children. No, he's not saying that. He's saying by comparison. That that show by comparison how much he wants you to love him. God, that, that's love. Like, oh, I love the Lord. I I I love you, Lord. You come first above anyone else. Cause we ask people, do God come first in your life? They're like, yeah, but really? Do they really? Do they really? You know? And, hey, I get look, I'm God. Lord, help me love you by comparison more than anyone in my family and myself. Because I need to ask him that. Show me. Teach me. You know? And it say, otherwise you cannot be my disciple. And if you do not carry your own cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. You got to pick up your own cross. You can't tell nobody else to do it. You got to pick up your cross and follow him. You you got to say, look, I, I'm getting out of my own way. I'm going to pick up my cross. I'm getting out my way. I'm getting out my own way, my own worldly way, and I'm going to follow you. I'm not going to. Mm, I'm not going to carry no one else cross. Or uh, try to have someone else do it for me. Only one. You can ask the Lord to help you pick up your cross. And follow him. You can ask him to help you. Because I know it's it's not easy. Christianity is not easy. And I feel like that is. Like. That is important. Because. It's like how much do you love Jesus man. You know. And we, we got to be able to. Not let distraction. Be a part of it. Because distraction is huge y'all. Distraction is so huge. There's so many things I want to do when I get off of work other than read the word, you know, and it's crazy because usually when I do read the word, only two things are going to happen. I'm going to get closer to him or I'm going to get something out of it. I may get tired. I may get sleepy, but guess what? I fell asleep to something good. I chose him over anything else. That's the most important part. I chose him over anything else. Over video games. Uh, TikTok. YouTube. Spotify. Whatever. Video games. Anything. Like. Let's let's practice. Choosing him first. Is He's not saying like. You can't. Enjoy entertainment in the world. Make sure it's godly. <laughs> He's not saying you cannot enter, entertain yourself. What he's saying is choose him first. You know, and, and put him, even through your entertainment, you know, because as Christians, we, you know, there are some people out there that's like, I'm a Christian, but go watch the most demonic movie ever. Go watch the most filthiest stuff online. You know, hey. I know a lot of our brothers out there struggling with the with 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 the hub, you know. And it, that's part of being a disciple is being disciplined. Don't let these distractions, because these distractions can lead to just more than just keeping your mind off of him, but it can lead you to sin. You know, when you open up that app, if you. St- if you stay on that app long enough, you're going to run into something that's going to cause you to slip. That could be some lust. That could be some stuff you don't want to see. That could be some some fighting. There could be something that trigger you, make you angry. Whatever. That, there's going to be something to make you sad and depressed and, and be like, oh, I, they got a nice house. I wish I had a nice house. Oh, they they relationship is great. I wish my relationship was like that. Oh, they look so sweet together and stuff. They, they, they got all. They going on vacation and man, I wish I could go on vacation. I'm always working and stuff, and you're not happy. You see what the, those distractions? <laughs> it, 
it takes you away from God. And then it calls you, once you take you away from God, then you're entertained by it. And then it causes you to sin. It causes you, it's it, it going to cause you to do one of these things. It's going to cause you either the, the it's going to cause anger. It's going to cause you um, jealousy. It can cause you envy. -ness. It could cause you lust. Like those cause you to do them four things. It even cause you to lie. Like once you start entertaining that stuff, you you are bound to do one of those things. You are bound. It, it can cause pride. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Like even as a Christian, man, you can lie. Okay, I'm not gonna read the Bible. I'm not going to focus on the Lord. I'm just going to watch Christian content, right? And you're watching the Christian content. And what do you say? Yeah, you can start doubting too. That's another one. You can start watching. You could be a Christian watching Christian content, right? And you might run into something that causes you to doubt question things but since you're not in the word you don't even know the real answer to it uh, that happened to me early on i started doubting man i really did because i was like oh like i watched something i was like man if god know everything then why it, well, well well what's the point of following christ then if he already know if i'm going to heaven or hell <laughs> like oh man but, I like literally my doubts like just was there like I was in confusion and don't take what I said don't start magnifying what I said now because the way that I got out of that is I had to realize wait no God give us free will he still give us free will even though he know what you want to do he still give you free will you still, you still, you honestly don't know where you're going. No one knows where they're going. They don't know where they're going to heaven or hell. But I will say one thing. Try, yeah, you better give the Lord as much as you can. Do as much as you can. Because also in the Bible, he said there's a promise for those who, to that follow him. There's treasure in heaven that for people who spread the word, his spread his words and, and, and obeyed his commandments and stuff. You know, there's, there's, I had to realize, I had to read Bible scripture, a Christian man falls seven times, but get back up. I had to keep reading scriptures. I'm like, okay, well, and the scripture said this and he, and he make God never, never, never make a promise that he can't keep. And then I had to realize like, wait, man, my mind is too small to understand God. My mind is too small to understand anything or anything with with what how the Lord truly like his 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 plan in my life. You know? Like I just need to trust in him. Cause his plan is way better than mine could ever be. And, and if I l go in and, and and follow him to the best ability that I can and, and ask him to help me, not just through myself, but through him and, 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 and repent daily and stuff and, and, and try to line my life up with scriptures through him and pray daily. And and praise him and stuff. My wife over here giving me words. <laughs> um, man, and you're right. All those things, you know, you could feel uh, you could feel comfortable a little bit more comfortable. You could you could God will reveal His love to you. That perfect peace, you know, you know, you just know. But we we just know we we. We have to do whatever it takes to get close to him. Like keep him first. Because the the Lord really 
cares about us. There's nothing can separate the Lord love from you. Nothing. So, man, just make sure y'all, you know, keep no distraction at minimum. I can't say that you're not going to get distracted because I get distracted. But keep no distraction at minimum. Because the more you keep no distraction at minimum, the more you'll feel closer to the Lord. I, I, I start to re- I'm starting to realize that. And y'all keep me in y'all prayers. And if you need any prayers, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Let me know. If you struggling with anything, let me know. Me and my brothers and sister and my wife, all of we'll be praying for you. You know, and we got this thing that's coming up every Tuesday at um let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up right quick. I'm gonna bring it up. I wish I could bring it up on my uh on my uh I'll find a way to get it up on here one day. My channel. Called Question, Confession, and Prayers uh, Tuesday at 7 30. It's through Zoom. Um, y'all ain't gonna be able to see that. But uh if you do want information to that Zoom. The ID and a password. If you if you want information on that, uh, how to get into it for Tuesdays at seven thirty p.m. Eastern time, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to share that with you. It's open for anyone, even the one who's not even a believer, and they just have questions. They if you're trying to figure out something about the Lord, if you want to know more about the Lord, if you have doubts, if you want to be pr- even if you like, you know what. I don't believe in this Jesus thing, but I, I just, I, I want to know why they believe in it. <laughs> Jump in. Hey, we here to, to, to spread the truth to you. For the, to, for the believers and the unbelievers. We are here for you so you can know the truth. Because I understand. I came out of, I came out of uh, New Age practices I came from a life of addiction. I came from a life of struggles. I came from a life of strongholds. I came from a a sinful background. And if God can can fix my heart and and start renewing my mind, he could do the same for you. Um, Is there anything you want to say, Jenny, before I end this? All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all have a blessed day, blessed week, weekend, whatever time you're watching this. I just hope you have a blessed, blessed week. Make sure you just keep pushing, keep seeking the Lord diligently. Remember, transformation don't always happen overnight. It is a straight progress. It's it transformation sometimes take time. Slowly. Just keep seeking him diligently and and you will get there. May y'all have a blessed day.